Hello. So there's a problem I have with uh, getting designs from old designs. And when I'm trying to connect a symbol or part or something like that, and I go to my options preferences, and I have my grid set to one to one or one to two. But then when I try to make a connection, let me show you something. Let me show you, I'm going to make my grid finer. Sometimes you'll have an engineer who, who uses a one to 10 grid for some reason. I don't, I don't know why I hate it. Um, and then you go to, and when you import your design, your grid is set to one, to one or one to two or something like that. The default is one to one. And then you move your circuit around and then you try to make a connection from say this capacitor, but you can't make the connection. It's hard to do that. You try to create a wire, it's like it, it there's a piece of the wire overlapping or something. It's like, man, how do I get rid of that wire? I just want a connection on the thing. It's very frustrating. The problem usually is that grid setting. So you want to go to options, preferences, and guess which grid setting you need to work with. Sometimes it's one to two. Maybe sometimes they do one to five. Usually it's one to five or one to ten from the other design, and you have to change that. Then you can go really fine into this grid see how fine that is and then make your solid connection that's a big pet peeve of mine because i personally haven't come across a time where i need to use a one to ten grid it it doesn't have to be that fine i i just that's my personal thing it's there for some it, obviously it's there because people use it and it, there's a need i just have not found a need for that yet so go to options preferences grid display and uh, you can change your grid settings to match what the designer used. Now on some rare occasions, oh, and there's another thing. If you want to get it back on, snapped onto your grid, you can then move the object and it'll snap to your grid and then that solves that problem. Okay. And when you try to make a wire connection on a one-on-one -on -one grid, it works just fine. All right, cool. So there's another problem or pet peeve I have as well. Sometimes it gets worse than that. Sometimes a person will get a capacitor or a diode or whatever, and they'll be off the grid, right? They'll have no grid. And then they place the component. Let me show you this. They'll place the component, right? Click end mode. And then when you try to make a connection, you're on the grid now when you're trying to make the connection. Oh, excuse me, you're off the grid. Whether you make a wire or a part or place a part or whatever, you spend however long, maybe hours, trying to connect a wire to the thing. And you, you connect it. That's great. But then when you try to move one little thing, you make you make one little move, and then you've got like the wire hanging and uh, moving in a weird location, you go like this, and it's impossible. And it's like, what is going on? That's because whoever gave the design to you was off the grid or on a very fine grid. Now, if they're on a very fine grid, you can change your grid settings. If they're off the grid, that's a problem. So you need to go on the grid, make sure you have this magnet attached to the grid, then select highlight and drag and hope hope this snaps to the grid, but it won't because your wires were originally off the grid in the first place. So if you try to move it, well, actually, let's, let's see. See, it's got this wonky, weird behavior because it wasn't on the grid to begin with. So then you have to delete the wire. Make sure you move the part first. I mean, not, not before you delete the wire, it doesn't matter, but make sure you move the part before you connect any new wires to this thing. Why? Because the part is going to be off the grid. You want to change your grid, snap to grid, and then make sure you move your part to something that's on the grid. Then make your connections. So don't leave the part where it is. You can't leave the part where it is because it's still off the grid. When you change the grid to when you change to on the grid and grid settings, you need to move the part around so it snaps to your new grid and then make your connections. So that's the second half of that. So uh, just as a quick recap, if you have a design you're reusing from another design or engineer or old design, then always check that <clears throat> one, 
you're on the grid is that you have snap the grid turned on. And two, <clears throat> excuse me, that you are using the appropriate grid. Maybe it's not off grid. Maybe you just need to go to the options, preferences, grid display, and then choose the proper grid spacing, like one to 10 or one to five. Those are, those are pretty much the only two problems the only two reasons I found where you have these connection problems. This will save you so many hours and save you such like a, a headache. All right. Thanks for watching.